this patient is suffering with a cervical pain that's right over the occipital nerve and the upper cervical regions. His MRI was clean, so I'm, I'm assuming he has some sort of myofascial pain syndrome related to a occipital neuralgia. Have you ever had trigger point injections in your neck? No, no. No, okay. So we'll do some trigger points with the nerve block just to try to alleviate his symptoms. So I'm gonna scan at the level of C2, looking for the occipital nerve. So the spinous process is central over here. I'm gonna scan laterally, and you see the planes of the obliquus capitis inferior muscle and the semispinalis muscle right here. I can angle my probe a little bit to try to get the ideal location. And then I'm gonna target the nerve in that plane. And sometimes it doesn't look like just one nerve, it could appear as multiple nerves because they can converge in this area. And you can feel a little pinch it I do that second between the nerve muscles. Does it feel like I'm in the spot of your pain? Yeah, you are. Okay, and it's crossing over between the muscle planes to get the nerve. Yeah. Now you have some pain in this region, like this, normally? Yeah. Okay. Now in the event that other muscles are involved, I'm going to do some trigger points as well as some paravertebral injection to try to see if I could get the medial branch nerve at this level and denervate any of the tissue. We're not looking, this is not purely a diagnostic block where I'm just doing one thing. I'm just trying to get him out of pain. Low pinch. Capture image. The needle is right above the articular pillar. Negative aspiration. Capture image. Just taking a look here. The sternocleomastoid. Sometimes you can see the lesser occipital nerve come up from the plexus, which I'll try to target right now. Low pinch. So this patient's pain physician referred him for an injection of the upper neck. His MRI was normal, so I didn't really want to do radiofrequency ablation of his nerves or epidurals. He has pain right over the occipital nerve when he depalpates it with some radiation, but not, not going all the way up to his head. So I wasn't really sure if it was just a nerve impingement or just some myofascial pain. To take care of the problem, I gave him some trigger points with lidocaine as well as an occipital nerve block with lidocaine and a um, superficial cervical plexus, tar me mainly targeting where the lesser occipital nerve should be. I actually didn't see it here, but it should cover the area as well as a medial branch close to the C2 level under ultrasound guidance. And this should give him some symptomatic relief. In my experience, even without steroid or PRP, lidocaine alone can last days, weeks, even months, or even be curative. So you don't always need steroids to get long-term outcomes with your patients.